स्टूडेंट्स स्टैंडर्ड एट इंग्लिश मीडियम इन बायोलॉजी वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर टू दैट इज द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स फ्रेंड एंड फो नाउ अराउंड एस वी कैन सी सो मैनी लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स लाइक प्लांट्स एनिमल्स बर्ड्स एक्सेट्रा बट बिसाइड्स दीज ऑर्गेनिजम्स मीन्स बिसाइड द प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल दैट वी कैन सी अराउंड अस देर आर सम अदर ऑर्गेनिजम्स ऑल्सो देर अराउंड अस एवरीवेयर बट वी कैनॉट सी देम because they are so 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 tiny that we cannot see them so those living organisms are known as micro organisms or in short you can say that they are microbes now these microbes cannot be seen with unaided or naked eye means we cannot see them directly just like we see the animals like cow dog cat or the human beings or the different trees and plants etc we cannot see them and we need a microscope and therefore their name is also given as micro organisms or microbes now these microorganisms can be seen like when especially in the rainy season with moisture sometimes your bread if you left them uncovered then next day you will see that it is getting spoiled and gray or white patches can be seen on it if you see that things with the magnifying lens you will see them and it they will have small tiny black rounded structures also so these all are micro organisms means they are also living organisms but so small so tiny so we have to tell them as micro organisms now some of the micro organisms are unicellular unicellular means their body is made up of only a single cell like the bacteria amoeba paramecium chlamydomonas etc etc so those are unicellular or single cell animal so they are unicellular also and some are multicellular like mucor is also one type of microorganisms they are multicellular means they have well designed body also but they are also so small their body is also very small so it is not possible to see them directly so now if you collect some soil from different places like in the field specially because we know that in the farm also we learn that uh, in the soil also there are some micro organisms which are known as the friend of the farmers so if you bring the sample of soil from the farm and take small piece from it and put it on the mic uh, under the microscope or you can see what you can put it in the beaker add some water and then let it settle down and take the one drop of the water from it and put it on the slide and watch it under microscope then you will see so many living organisms moving in that water so those are also 
द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स इफ यू सी डायरेक्टली दैट वॉटर यू वोट बी एबल टू सी दैम बट वेन यू वॉच इट ऑन द माइक्रोस्कोप देन सो मेनी माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स विल लुक मूविंग अराउंड इन साइड दैट वॉटर सिमिलरली यू कैन ब्रिंग द वॉटर फ्रॉम द पॉन्ड और रिवर और समवेर एंड स्प्रेड इट ऑन अ ग्लास स्लाइड and if you watch that also under the microscope there will be some moving creatures will be seen and those are the <clears throat> micro organisms so it means that we can see that we can say that from this observation that micro organisms are everywhere in the air also in water also in soil also and they are not actually all of them comes in the category of microbes but those who are very very tiny and that cannot be seen with the naked eye are considered as the micro organisms or microbes now these micro organisms can be seen everywhere as i told you the micro organisms found in all kinds of environment like ranging from ice cold climate to hot springs very ice cold climate like in the polar region they can be found in those region also where there is very cold we can't even survive and in hot springs hot springs means the water which is very very hot boiling water and in that water also we can find some micro organisms also desert to marshy lands desert you know that in the desert also the temperature is very high 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 very dry conditions without water so in those areas also you can get micro organism it means that if you find out the water or the soil and magnify them with a microscope you will be able to see that micro organisms there also similarly to the marshy lands a desert to marshy marshy land means that area of land in which there is lots of water is there and it is uh, like apne kahe na gujarati ma kadav kichad wadu ke bahut bahut pani hoy kadav kichad so that marshy lands in that also you will see the micro organism it means that they can be found everywhere maybe in the air in the water in the soil even in our food in our clothes and every item it means that maybe it is around you now also some of the micro organisms stay inside our body also in body of animals also in body of plants also and in bodies of human beings also so we can say that there is no place no such place that we cannot find this type of micro organisms it means that they are everywhere so that is the fact about micro organisms now these micro organisms are classified into four major groups they are classified according to their body design they are classified in four categories and that four major groups are the bacteria fungi algae and protozoa which are there they are bacteria fungi algae and protozoa these are the main four groups in which the micro organisms or the microbes are classified actually there is one other also 
but uh, that is very very difficult to tell that either they are living or non living such organisms such are known as viruses now viruses it is very difficult to say that it is a organisms or a non living things because these viruses are totally different from all these four categories viruses like we know about the current situation about that uh, corona virus and through it that uh, this is covid 19 so now what happens in the virus virus are actually when they are free in nature they are just like dead things maybe you will be surprised to know that we can store them like we store the sugar in a bottle or in a container we store salt in a container we store some grains in our containers similarly it is said that this virus is also can be stored like the crystals of sugar and so on because when they are free means outside in the environment they are just like non living organism it means that they don't show any type of activities at all just like the stone lying on the floor the water lying on the table or anything that non living things like a book book is inactive nothing can do it similarly these viruses are also so the same situation whenever they are in the nature in the free state it means that they are outside any plant or animal cell they do not show any activity they don't grow they don't multiply they don't even move from one place to another place so these all characteristics are of the non living organisms but whenever these viruses enters in any living cell doesn't matter a plant cell or a, an animal cell anything whenever they enter any living cell then only they are becoming active they using that host machinery of the cell and then they start growing and they multiply in the numbers mean they reproduct also they reproduce also so these characteristics are showing that they are living organism but outside when they are alone outside the body of other then they so non living characteristics therefore the scientists also cannot categorize it either in living or non living so it is on the border line it is in the classification of living and non living they cannot put it either in living because when they are outside they are non living they can't put it in non living because when they are in the other cell they are very active they multiply they can cause diseases also and therefore it is very very confusion that where can we put them neither in the living or non living so it is exactly in the border line of the virus so as i told you virus are also microscopic but are not considered as microbes they can reproduce only inside the cells of any living organisms so viruses are neither living nor non living so it is very very difficult so they are kept on the border when they classify the living and non living things they also cause disease in some plants also like in the tobacco plant there is a tobacco mosaic virus is they take uh, make that uh, disease in the plant and they can cause disease in animals also like in the cattles that uh, foot and mouth disease in which between the fingers of the feet and in the mouth they are getting ulcers and 
that is caused by some special types of virus. Similarly, in uh, other animals like human beings also, like a common cold, we are, when we are sneezing and that thing, and the flu, influenza, flu, polio, AIDS, and currently our COVID-19. So, these are all the diseases which are caused by that viruses. So, virus are also uh, like um, other microscopic organisms, they are also can be harmful for us. Chickenpox is also caused by virus. And there are some other microorganisms are also there, as I told you. And they also causes the disease, like uh, the dysentery, malaria, they are caused by protozoa. Protozoa are also microorganisms. Like we saw that bacteria, fungi, algae and, that, and protozoa. So protozoa are also one kind of microscopic organism that can cause different type of diseases like malaria, dysentery, etc. Then typhoid and tuberculosis. Tuberculosis means TB. We call it in TB as in short. So this TB, typhoid and these are caused by bacteria also. For, from, from fungi also, like the skin disease are done by the fungi. So these all microorganisms are the harmful also. Now here you can see that there are some pictures of different type of bacteria and microorganisms like that. In the first picture you can see different type of bacteria. And here in the second picture, there is a Chlamydomonas, then Spirogyra, then this is the algae. They are the examples of algae. And here you can see that Amoeba and the Paramecium, they are the examples of protozoa. And then this bread mold, which is growing on the bread, then that is the Penicillium. And the aspergillus, these are the examples of the fungi. And here on the other page, there is the pictures of viruses also, few different types of viruses. So these are the pictures and the examples of the microorganisms. So you can write down that, you can know, draw these pictures in your notebook also. So now, as we already talked about it, that what are microorganisms, which are microscopic because we can't see them with the naked eye. And they can be found everywhere. Doesn't matter which type of climate, coldest weather to hottest weather, like ice cold area or hot spring in which water is very, very hot, then also they can survive. They can found in the muddy water also, they can find in the air also, they can find in the soil also. It means that these microorganisms are everywhere around us. But only the problem is that we cannot see them and therefore we cannot uh, get precautions sometimes because we are not aware that uh, they are around us. Similarly, so they are classified in the four major groups. They are bacteria, fungi, algae and protozoa. Virus are also micro, but they are not called as organisms. Why? Because as I told you that they are very very different from others. They show no activities when they are free in nature. But whenever they enter any living cell of a plant or an animal, they becoming active, active, they use the mechanism from the cell of the host and then they grow also, they reproduce also and they can cause some diseases in the plants and animals also. Now, here after this 
in the next video we will learn about that uh, as a title says that it is friend and foe it means that they are our friends also and foe means they are our enemies also so in the next video we will learn that how they are friends how they are harmful for us so whatever they you will be followed uh, this video will be followed by the pdf file you have to write down and as i told you draw the pictures in your notebook and if any confusion write down in the comment section thank you very much